So how do we overcome temptation? If you're like most humans, there have been times in your life when you wanted to serve God, you wanted to do what's right, but then temptation hits and it's almost as though the spiritual side of you doesn't even exist anymore and it's just the sinful side and you feel like there's no possible way that you can't give in. Whether it's alcohol, maybe it's drugs, maybe it's what you're watching, Maybe there's other things that you're tempted to say things or think things. I don't know what it is, but temptation hits and there's that overwhelming urge to sin when you know it's not right. How do we have victory? And I just want to talk to you about that today. And if you're just joining us, my name is Pastor Addison, the founder of Everything Church Pro. And it's my goal in this channel to help people to study the Bible like never before and serve in their local church and live this authentic Christian life. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join this growing community of Bible lovers. And here's the thing, it's free. You can hit that subscribe button and it doesn't cost you one cent. So how do we overcome temptation? I really believe the key is in submission. And before you click away, this is so key. You will submit. You will submit one way or the other. And I don't remember who I heard this from. I don't think it's original with me. Uh, but the key is submission. And I believe we find this in the book of Romans. That you will submit either to the flesh or you will submit to the spirit. Friends, when that temptation comes, we are often thrown into our own flesh. The lusts of the flesh begin to take over, and we feel like we have to submit to the lusts of the flesh. But that's not the case. You will submit in that moment, but you can submit to the flesh, or you can submit to the Spirit. This is why I like to tell people, victory comes not by trying, but by dying. A lot of people try to fight the flesh, and fight the flesh, and fight the flesh, when the key is to die to your own desires and submit to the desires of the Holy Spirit. How would this look in real life? Let's just say you are super tempted to think a thought you should not be thinking. Most people try to fight that desire when a Christian should surrender to the desires of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in you if you're saved, and He has desires, and He lusts against the flesh. They fight against each other, and so He's there right now, and there is a way of escape from these thoughts. And now it is, Lord, who am I going to trust? Am I going to trust that the, the works of the flesh are better for me? Or am I going to trust that the works or the fruit of the Spirit is better for me? And if you believe that the fruit of the Spirit is better for you, submit to the Holy Spirit, and He will give you the strength to do what's right. I, I, I wish I could get even more, like I can get into there and, and give you some more nuanced answers. But really, it's as simple as this. When, when temptation comes, you will either submit to the flesh or you'll submit to the spirit. And it comes down to who do you believe is better for you in that moment. When the flesh begins to attack you, you really believe man, this would really be fun if I did this, or this would really let off some steam if I did this, or this would get that person back if I did that. And you begin to believe that sin is better for you than righteousness. But we know that's not the truth. And so friends, I encourage you, when temptation comes today, because it will come a knocking, believe that God's way is the best way and submit yourself to his way, even when you don't feel like it, trusting him to give you the power to overcome. I hope this was a blessing to you. If it was, hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And then YouTube thinks this video is going to be a blessing to you. So I encourage you to watch that. And we'll see you in the next video.